Hi there, I'm about to do some harvesting. It's been in the 30s here in Texas and everything is just falling off. Lots of leaves are falling. The Moringa pods are drying up and turning to seed. And I just wanted to take you along. So let's see, here we had some pink eye purple cow peas and they're dead now. A uh, little bit alive down there though. Tomatoes. Um, I can't remember what was there. This is still doing okay. It smells just like Fruit Loops. And this is what it is. Let's see if we can get it on here. Lemon balm. It smells so good. And it relaxes you whenever you make it as a tea. Look at all that basil. Oh, it smells so good too. So... This is still good to turn into pesto, all of this. Whenever these dry up, they turn brown and then you don't wanna make pesto out of it. But this is basil, purple basil. We have some tomatoes here still growing out of the compost. And let's see, today's November 1st and we still have some tomatoes. They're green. There's our compost pile. And these are mini orange bell peppers. I've had these going for a couple of years now. Let's see if I can get it in focus. I started out from one little pepper and it sat in the refrigerator for a couple of months. Kind of forgot about it and then I took uh, all the seeds, dried them out on a paper towel and then I've had it going now for three years. It's all the same, from all the same pepper, all of this we got. Swiss chard is doing okay still. You can still eat all of that. These are good in uh, stir fry too. Just chop them up and, and just cook them for a couple minutes. All of this. Same thing, Swiss chard, Swiss chard. This is still orange bell pepper. We'll just come along over here and see what we have going on. Um, let's see here. So everything needs to be harvested. Get a good look out of this. At this, echinacea seeds. Lots of echinacea seeds to dry. They're looking good. The leaves that are here at the top, you can pluck those and dry them and turn them into tea. And that's good for colds. Or if you feel a cold coming on. The seeds we can harvest. And then we can keep those for next year to plant. So, all of our Moringa, so it was in the 30s the last couple of days, and it's still doing okay. We do need to harvest it though, because it's going to get colder. And then let me see if I can find some that are dried. Here, there's some over here that are dried. There we go. This is what it looks like whenever it's dried. So we let it turn brown when we're finished eating them for the year. Uh, we let them turn brown and then we harvest the seeds and we can plant more trees. This is my jungle. I think I have 28 trees planted total. And this is in Texas, Central Texas. They do really well. I planted, uh, I think 30 seeds to begin with and then I had a really good germination rate. And these trees, starting in April, they grow from the ground. They die completely off. The root stays alive and then they grow all the way up to about 16 to 20 feet. It's totally amazing. You get so much food off of these. It's amazing. I've only been growing these for a few years now. And this right here is Malabar spinach. See? The smaller the leaves are, the crispier they are. The bigger leaves like this, or like this, are real good for juicing. They're thick. They hold a lot of water. I think there's one of my tomato plants. Let me go over here. I have a tomato plant growing right there. 
It doesn't have any tomatoes on it right now. Basil. Okay. So this is the sweet green basil. And you can take a look here. These seeds are ready to harvest and keep for next year. Basil is real easy to grow. And this is purple basil. You can see the difference, see? Where it's purple, you can use the purple flowers and you can use the leaves and make pesto. Just add olive oil, some lime juice, and Parmesan cheese, and just blend it and you can make pesto. It's so good on pasta. But then these seeds, you keep, you harvest. More tomato plants. Oh, there's a tomato on there. There's a cute little baby one. Everything needs to be taken care of. Look, more seeds to harvest. See if I can show you something else. There's more tomato plants. Marigolds. So pretty. They've done so well, I can't believe it. I started all of these from seed too. I noticed the ones that I bought at the nursery that were already growing, they only lasted for about a month, but the ones that I planted from seed, they got really big and they've lasted all the way from the spring. So it's pretty awesome. So grow it from seed if you can. This time, I've had this growing for such a long time. Ha, <laughs> time. It's kind of hard to see it. You were to focus it. This time has grown so well. I planted so many seeds and only one germinated. And that was about five or six years ago. And now look at it. It stays alive all through the winter. So it's really great. There's a bunch of Moringa sticks that are on there. But this is amazing. Look how hardy it is. It's so awesome. More tomato plants with basil. I plant them together. The tomatoes and the basil grown together along with the marigolds in one tire each. They do so awesome. And here we go. It's definitely time to harvest these. These are called pink eye purple cow peas. See that? They're so cool. These are doing really, really well. We need to pull all of, the, all of those. We've gotten so much food out of these. Adding them to soups and stir fry, it's so awesome. This was grown by accident. This right here is an avocado, an avocado tree growing by accident in here. The only reason I knew it was an avocado tree was because I thought it was a, a weed and I went to dig it up and I found it was attached to an avocado seed. So look how big it is now. I'd say it's about maybe three and a half feet tall. Pretty awesome. These are Texas ruby red grapefruits that my mom brought me. They're still doing well even in the 30 degree weather. Here's a shot of my Moringa forest. So awesome. It's so amazing to come outside and just pick leaves to eat every day. A great way to start your morning. Go over here. I have some parsley growing here with my pink eye purple cow peas. It does so well with these. I recommend planting those together. And everything we've grown in tires has done really, really well. I recommend it. You just take the tires, you wash them really, really well, cut the tops off. And if you're in a really hot climate, you paint the tires so that they don't absorb so much sunlight. And these uh, keep the moisture in them. So whenever you're having a drought, stuff will still keep growing. Uh, table grapes. We didn't get any grapes this year, but we did get the grapevine that came back. <laughs> and this is all okra. Okra, okra, okra. I let some of it go to seed. Let me see if I can find one to show you that's going to seed. That's all okra too. Um, let me see here, look at this one. Look, let me see. 
you can get an idea how big that is. It's huge! I'm just letting it grow really big and then it's going to go to seed and then I can harvest the seeds and plant them next year. That's how I got all of this. That's all from seeds harvested. Didn't have to buy any. It's so great to harvest your seeds and keep them for the next year. So you can see a difference. These were planted around the same time. That's all okra and that's from seeds harvested from last year. These are from a seed packet that I got from Lowe's. The same type of okra and look how small they are and I barely got any okra from them. See they didn't do well either whenever it got really cold last night. These are still doing okay. They didn't freeze. It's so weird. Those are still okay. This right here is passion fruit vine. Ooh, it's going crazy. We're gonna have to trim it back. I started it in a couple of tires and we got a bunch of passion fruit from it. But now it started growing and growing and growing and growing into other tires. So I think we just need to trim it back and then we can get some more fruit. These are goji berries. Goji berries grow so well in Texas. Let's see if I can pick some right now. Look, I ordered these from Amazon from a company that's in Michigan. They're so good and super healthy too. See, I just harvested some yesterday too. They're so good. A baby moringa tree. Mm, let's see what else. Oh, fennel. Let's see if I can get a good look at it. It doesn't have flowers on it right now because I ate them all. <laughs> it tastes exactly like licorice. If you have indigestion or an upset stomach, you just come outside and pick a little bit, chew it up, or if there's flowers on it, chew them up. And then I swear, it takes about five minutes and the upset stomach is gone. You feel so much better. Another avocado tree. And a lemon tree. Started from a lemon seed that I got at the store. From a lemon that we ate from the store, grocery store. So, it has the thorns. I planted this about two years ago. So I think we're going to get lemons next year. That's it. Have a great day.